Hi guys, this is a quick video to show you how to use the V-Ray custom channel. In this case, I'm going to use the V-Ray custom channel to isolate uh, light, but you can also use the same process to isolate materials. Um, if you go to the V-Ray options setting, we have the normal and standard V-Ray channels like the GI, light, diffuse, and so on. But also we have an area where you can actually create your own custom channel. So let's say that I want to isolate the three different lights that I have in my scene into three different uh, custom channels. So I'm going to add the first custom channel. I'm going to rename this custom channel as, uh, let's say, left light, right? I'm going to enable the color mapping and the, the anti-aliasing. And also I'm going to do the same thing with the other two lights. So I'm basically defining my layers in which I want to uh, include or isolate each individual light. This, go, this one is going to be the top light. And also enable the color mapping and the anti-aliasing. And the last one is going to be the right, right light. And enable those two options. So that's it with the uh, layer creation or channel creation. I need to tell V-Ray where I want to isolate the right, left, and top light. So select the light and go to the light properties. Go all the way down. In this case, my screen is, is, is not good enough, so I could not see my, my UI. My UI is big. So then I could click here, the light result. I'm going to do, you have different options to isolate, but I'm going to isolate the final life result. Click on there, and then you can see this windows come up. And because I'm selecting the right lights, I'm going to use that and isolate that on my right channel. And select the left light, and do the same thing. Left channel, select the top light, and isolate that in my top channel. Okay, now, I have to click render. I'm going to pass the video until the render done. Okay, the render done, and you can see we have the RGB color channel, but you can see that we have also the GI channel. We have the lighting, which is the contribution of all those three lights. We have also the reflection, which are which are the basics channel to do a, a post-processing of file and composition. And also we have three extra layers with the light information. So this is the top lights, and you can see this is only the information of the top light. We have the right light, or the right channel, which is only the contribution of the right light. And the left channel, which is only the contribution of the left uh, light. I did a quick Photoshop um, setup. So you can see we have all the three lights, I also have the GI and the reflection, so but in order to visualize a little bit better what those um, custom light channel does, I'm going to disable the GI and the reflection and just to play with the light. So for example, I also add a exposure control over those three individual lights to be able to increase and decrease the exposure of those uh, light. Anyway, the idea is that now I could basically reduce the intensity of the top light. You can see how I, I can increase or decrease the intensity. So I'm going to turn off basically the top light. I'm going to do the same thing with the um, right light. So you can see now we have only the contribution of the left light. So it's, this is absolutely amazing. So you can actually impose control the light information. And again, if I turn off the left light, I have a black um, light because I don't have any illumination at all. So let me um, increase the intensity of those lights, all of them, and enable the GI and the reflection to see the final composition. So you can see that my top light is a little bit overexposed. So I could go here and go back and decrease the intensity of the top lights. Also, the right light is kind of a little bit overexposed, and the left light is also overexposed. So, beautiful, right? So, you could use the custom channel to create some nice control impulse over the illumination. Bye bye.